Right, in this guide I'm going to show you how to install and set up an Exchange server. Here we have a standard install of Windows 2003 server with Service Pack 2 installed and all the updates. Right, so first we're going to log into the server. Right, so to show you the this, so it's on the surf pack two. You can see this back here the PC that's running on. Right then, so you can see through the um, configure server wizard. That it's a fresh install because nothing's been actually installed as such. It's a basic install of uh, 2003. What we need to do first is make because this is the first um, server. I need to make it a domain controller first uh, before we can install Exchange. Um, so what we're going to do is install Exchange install the domain control in Active Directory so highlight that in blue and click next and let's fold it through next on that one so it's a new domain name domain controller for a new, new domain and it's a new, new forest so in this one we need to put in a full domain name for DNS. In this example I'm going to use office.pineway.co.uk. Click next. That's fine, click next again. That's fine. Right, is because this is a fresh install, you need to actually get the you need to really inst install the DNS as well. So um see what the options are. That's one I want to use. So it's a middle option now that what it does that installs the DNS server for you and configures it with active directory. This one's quite important really because if you've got um, PCs running uh, 2000 or, um, or 98 then you need to have this one here. But if you've got XP installed on, on your PC and you're accessing the exchange then you can go to this one here. Um, So uh, that's fine, just leave, and leave it on that if you wish. Now I need to put a password in for the system. process does take a little while to complete.
when doing this is a good idea to actually have the Windows 2003 installation disk in the, in the DVD drive now what is saying here is saying because this machine has been given a, a dominant IP address it actually recommends a, a static IP address but for this test purposes and to do this guy doesn't really matter really we should we should really do a static IP address but I'll do one anyway That's all set up there. waiting for the DNS to be configured now Shouldn't take too much longer, hopefully. Right, so let's now finish that task. Now it needs to restart the server. Just give it a quick restart. <coughs> 